What's up, guys? Welcome to Clash of Clans. This is JL. I'm back to this clan and uh, the clan I just I was in this about last week. And the reason I left my current clan because yeah, they were kind of like uh, discrimination to me because they said, "Oh, because you are weak on attack, so I don't let you attend on the war." They don't say it, but they mean it. So they don't let me attend on war like twice. Even I said I want to attend on the war, they don't do it. So they were, uh, they had a 45 war, they just left me outside the war. I said, you know what, I'm back to the another clan. So when I back to this clan, uh, they already had a war, so I actually wait for a couple days so to get the war started. So here's the war is going now, and it's going to end it. I did my first attack, uh, I almost got 3 star, and almost, but actually at the end somebody actually got 3 star beside me. So. Uh, I I made a little mistake. Other than that, I will get three star pretty sure. So I got at the ends up seventy five percent. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about um after most of our member in this clan left to the to merge to another major clan. So I'm going to show you that the day we after um did you see it? Did you see it? You see this? We had a forty vs forty. So few a forty against forty um five days ago. And then after that, we we had a 15. Usually, we never had 15 before. Never. So, we had a 15 against 15 and a 20 against 20. So, the clan is getting bigger again because we're recruiting uh, strong, active people. Um, so, when we have 15 against 15, we only have three Tanghan 10s and the rest will be Tanghan 9s. So we, we did a pretty good job on their Tanghan 9s. As you can see, with three star of their Tanghan 9s. They actually have... Uh, they actually have five town hall tens. So very interesting is most of our member like to stay in town hall nine because they don't want to go to town hall ten. Uh, last video I told you why. Be Let me tell you again. It's just because um, it's easier to get three star with like the same base level. If you're town hall nine, it's easier to three star town hall nine than town hall ten to three star town hall ten. So I'm not talking about you town hall ten and then you beat up town hall nine and you feel good. No. I'm talking about you Town 10, you beat up Town 10, then you are good. But it's not as easy as a Town 9. So people kind of afraid to get to Town 10. And once they get to Town 10, they can only end up 2 star, as you can see. Even our like uh, our number 7, he just hit Town 10s. He always do a good job on 3 star Town 10, uh, 10 as well. But he tried the best. He only had 50-50, not even 50. Maybe he has 30 chance. 30% chance to get 3 star. So it's not that easy. And uh, the interesting is when we are Town Hall 9 and you're going to upgrade your wall level, your hero levels like this, I'm going to show you. And you're going to have max out heroes and with max level of walls and you still in Town Hall 9, you don't want to go Town Hall 10 because they're really afraid of that because they're eager to get 3 star and they don't want to like lose 3 star. So uh, instead, of they just keep staying town nine. They don't want to upgrade it. So, um, as a war matching system, they actually calculate your wall level and hero levels because there are not many clan like us don't want to go to town hall ten. So we match into a clan that has um, like this one where they have fourteen, fourteen town hall tens. Although their town hall ten are really weak. Because that Inferno Tower actually boosts your damage and defense up a lot. Believe me or not, uh, you're going to see that the bonus on Town Hall 10 is 500,000 and the bonus on Town Hall 9. This is Town Hall 10 as well, I think. Yeah. So the bonus on Town Hall 9 is 400,000. Although they, I only get 95%. Anyway, so it just... The difference between... Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 9 is that Inferno Tower, and that Inferno Tower will make you to become very strong on defense, which will make your enemy a lot stronger. So if you are, your clan is now strong enough, I really not recommend you to upgrade your Town Hall to Town Hall 10, because that's going to make your enemy stronger as well, and your attack power is now getting strength up, and your enemy already getting strength up like this. So. Uh, even interesting on this clan war is we going to ha we actually have twenty four enemy with town hall tens although they are weak twenty four and we only have uh, ten town hall tens it looks ridiculous right but actually 
um, it worked out pretty well because we have max out heroes and max out loss. Anyway, I'm going to start. So this video is mostly about three star Town Hall nine, three star Town Hall tens, and two star Town Hall nine with Town Hall nine. But it's not Town Hall tens. So I'm going to show you first replay that this Town Hall ten guy made it. So this Town Hall ten is pretty decent, like to a uh, beginner Town Hall tens or like beginner. The hero levels are pretty low, like mid low, not middle. It's just mid low. When I consider middle, it's like middle is like twenty level, level twenty. So this is like thirteen and fourteen. It's pretty low. And to take this base, this base is and sucks. It's they put all the the collectors and non defense on the last layer, and they put all the defense in the center. So this defense in the center will you just need to go wipe and you will wipe everything out. So. You can go wide with this, or you can just. I don't think balloon will work well, but I don't know what this guy used. But this guy's max out town hall tens. He used go wipe. So I told you because when you see a base like this, just go wipe them, wipe them out. That's all. So there's no shot, no kind of technique to like be careful with because this is go wipe is pretty simple. You just go first and then wipe later. So Golem goes first and then Pekas and Wizards, everything go after it. And then they will wipe out automatically. You just drop your uh, Rage spell on time on the right place. Try to avoid those giant bombs, but it's hard to avoid, right? So just make sure that you land your Wizards on time, the timing. Also, this Pekka is going to be the cleaning guy. He's going to clean out the outside. And the heroes, hero level is really important. Heroes is going to clean up the center because uh, if you don't have high level heroes, uh, it's, it's really bad. I'm gonna tell you, two max out heroes, they can take a quarter of base without any help by themselves. A king and uh, Archer Queen just by themselves max out level 40 they can take a quarter of the base by themselves a max out base so that's how strong a hero is if you have level 15 or level 20 heroes you can maybe take three to four build uh, maybe five buildings not even a quarter four or five buildings and you die that's all if you're tower 10 you can only take three buildings max out base so level 40 is really really strong and this is a le level 30 ish so they are strong as well so go wipe isn't isn't a good um, it's not my favorite because I don't use that it's all depends on the luck a lot so let me show you another one this one is a pure air attack uh, I think the reason it's good to use air attack is first hold the air defense pretty much exposed outside which is free to take to take it all you need to do is you can just drop down your heroes on this side it will take care of this air defense no just your king take on this side take care of the air defense and out your queen and your queen can go this side and then let's say you're gonna wipe out this base very simple I don't even need you don't need to have max out heroes you just need to have level 20 heroes is enough to wipe out this base um, it's not hard because now we all because we gets weaker, uh, our member gets weaker, so we're going to meet many weak Town Hall tens. But we still are most Town Hall nine. Some people when you say oh Town Hall nine against Town Hall ten, you're going to lose. Not really. If you don't know how to like play, Town Hall nine can still beat you up. And if you just eager to level up fast and and without level up your defense. Uh, you're going to lose the war again, and it's kind of weird. This guy actually attacked from the bottom and the right side without taking down the Archer Queen first. But because their defense is really weak, and also the Infernal Tower is single target, which do nothing to the balloons, it deals a lot of damage to the uh, Lava Hound, which in this case doesn't do much job. And balloon actually do all the job. So after the lava hunt explodes, little minions gonna really it's gonna be painful for Infernal Tower to take all the minions out. 
So uh, never put your Inferno Tower in single target. Never both of them take uh, set a single target. When you get higher enough level, you probably can set one of Inferno Tower in single target to protect your queen only, archer queen only. So other than that, there's no reason to put your uh, Inferno Tower in single target. So uh, I'll show you another one. So it's pretty weak, Town Hall 10. Let me show you uh, Town Hall 9 attack, Town Hall 10 uh, uh, strategy here. Replay. Uh, okay, here's a Town Hall 9. So this is a Town Hall 10. Uh, it's a new to Town Hall 10. The defense level are pretty much from Town Hall 8. This guy can't wait to go to Town Hall 10. He went to Town Hall 9. Uh, he actually stayed for a little while. You notice the uh, Archer Queen is at level 11. And then he went to Town Hall 10. So now his defense level is pretty much remain from Town Hall. New to Town Hall 9. And only Inferno Towers. Uh, level they only have two inferno tower. That's all but those two inferno tower make big difference Even Town Hall 10 member try to wipe out this. It's not that easy So because those two inferno towers, let's see how uh, Town Hall 9 do a good job on this so uh, The Town Hall 9 member has uh, max out pretty much max out queen but Only level 11 king so um he actually used some gem. He must use some gem. Otherwise, how can how could his hero's level are so unbalanced? I never do that. So um, the lightning spell take away the take care of the art the clan castle troop. And then because the hero level, the king level is pretty low. Um, but the defense level is low as well, so which match up perfectly. And the point is, he took out one Inferno Tower. Now, if you took out one Inferno Tower and you are Town Hall 9, you can 3 star Town Hall 10 if their defense are not strong enough. So, uh, another Inferno Tower is going to be taken care of by the Rage spell. Watch this. The Rage spell is going to wipe out this Inferno Tower with the mass balloons, number of balloons. Because Inferno Tower, although they will take, they will kill balloons, but Inferno Tower will only do like level one, only do 32 damage per. Uh, I don't know, is it 32? I don't remember. 32 damage per second, and the balloon has 500 something hit points, which can only take about 10 to about 15 seconds for Inferno Tower to kill one balloon. Or five balloon together, so 15 seconds with a race spell balloon is enough to drop at least three bomb, which can take care of the inferno tower perfectly. So there's no like, don't be scared of the inferno tower if there's only one inferno tower. So just be brave and use air attack. You can get three star if you're town nine. And if but if you use hog rider, that's a different story because hog rider has. Um, also about 500 hit points 400 something but the hog rider actually scared of the giant bomb when the giant bomb hit them it is gonna be different and balloon actually deals a lot of damage more damage than the hog rider so with the balloons they they can one bomb and kill the inferno tower take a take care of the inferno tower but if you're a hog rider you're probably going to take Two or three hits. So for Town Hall 9, attack Town Hall 10, there's another one. This Inferno Tower is single target, which is pretty much equivalent to a Tesla because uh, it's a level 1. Oh no, single target pretty much equivalent to Archer Tower, maybe like that. So you can use Go Hog Riders or you can use. This is pretty much Go Wipes. Go wizard strategy with some hog rider. It's pretty weird. Um, pretty weird attack strategy. Four golems. Is it four? Yeah. I can't count clear. A oh, five golems. This is a five golems attack strategy. If you're a town nine, you use five golem hog rider strategy. 
It's kind of weird. I never seen that. But if you're Tonghan Ten, I do see that very often. Because if you're Tonghan Nine, you don't have enough uh, tube space. Like twenty is it make big difference. Twenty can be equal to five balloons, four balloons, or five wizards. He brought lightning spell. Uh, he thought he can take care of the clan castle too, but the tube is dragon, so it's hard. But luckily, he has high level archer queen, which can take care of the dragon. And now I don't think it's a good idea to bring five golem when all the inferno tower are single target, because this single target inferno tower they can take care of golem very easy. So. But the Hog Rider came in on the right time. I think he can he could use like three uh, golems with more giants would be a lot better. Because giant can take care of defense a lot faster than the golem. He can actually brought like ten giants with uh, three golems. Like like to mix them up it will do a lot better job than pure golems or pure giants. Um, high heroes level actually uh, make a lot of difference here. So uh, Archer Queen still survive and with skills. So this is gonna be three star. And the base design is it's really bad because uh, there's it's a square. I don't I don't like square base design because it's really easy to get breaks through. Um, this is another Town Hall 9 attack Town Hall 10s. The Town Hall 10 will only get weaker, but this Town Hall 10 is only have one Inferno Tower, which makes nothing. So I know that showing you guys some weak, maybe you guys, um, at about this level. So, if you're new to Town Hall 10, you can take care of this kind of Town Hall 10. If you are top Town Hall 9, you can also take care of this kind of Town Hall 10. So, um... It all depends. So when you have very like high level Town Hall 9s and you're going to meet some clan like this, like weak Town Hall 10s. But if you have high level Town Hall 10s, and then you're gonna meet the tough Town Hall 10s. So this is not that bad. It's a great, great strategy for you to practice how to 3 start Town Hall 10 as a Town Hall 9. So he use he doesn't even have hero or the queen. He only have the king available. So the king take care level twenty king is now high level. So take care of the archer queen and then take care of the clan castle too. And then the rest is just the balloons and the lava hunt. So he actually now took down uh, another air defense if he had a queen that would be for sure three star I think anybody will three star this this base can also be wiped out by go wipe because the wall level is pretty low uh, what kind of base you can do the go wipe when the wall level is below level 8 you can do go wipe if you have high level P.E.K.K.A if the wall level is uh, Level 8 you can consider, but it depends on their defense level. If you, uh, if enemy's war level is uh, town, uh, level 9 and above, uh, I don't recommend to use go wipe to 3 star, because the chance of go wipe to 3 star it will get a lot lower. So uh, it all depends on wall level. So it's go wipe is not best strategy, but it just uh, it all depends on the wall level. I just repeated three times, did I? Anyway, so I already show you too much. I'm going to show you last one, a Chang'e Nine attack. It's kind of mi mixed today. No, this is another Chang'e Ten. So I'm going to show you a Chang'e Nine attack. Wow, this is too weak. So I'm sorry. I'm going to show you a Chang'e Nine attack, Chang'e Ten with a uh, two star. Uh, let me pick if there are any Town 9s coming up here. Yeah, this Town 9 attack Town 10 will have a 2 star. Let's see. 
Uh, this Tanghan 10 is uh, uh, new to Tanghan 10 as well. Max out Tanghan 8 defense with the new Tanghan 10 Inferno Tower. But the attacker is uh, pretty much max out Tanghan 9. Try to get 2 star, not 3 star. Uh, because level 2 Inferno Tower, that makes a big difference. He tried to get 3 star, but he just missed a little bit, I think. I don't know. Is it? Is it? Fast forward. Oh, look at this. He put the, the clan castle tube right outside. And so this clan is not designed for um, clan war. This is the whole clan. They just having a clan war. F I don't know. Maybe who someone just randomly started a clan war. And they don't want to have a clan war. They just have the. So there is some clan like this out there, and I know you guys may made this clan clan before. And why am I fast forward? So um, it's a go go wizard strategy, and with uh, a couple hog rider. That's what I told you guys before. With a go hog rider, that you don't have to bring a lot of hog riders. Your job is do go wipe or go wee wee. It's up to you. You just do. The golems and regular wizard attack. You just bring eight to ten hog riders. This hog rider is going to take care of the last defense. But in this case, he actually put the hog rider separate, and his golem didn't went through the last war level. But hog riders, uh, he did not have enough hog rider, or he did not have any healing spell left. So, and that's why he didn't get three star on this. Otherwise, if he have another jump spell on this side, then and then put the hog rider down, then he will get three star. So, but as a town nine, this is already this is doing very good job. So you you never expect a town nine to get three star, but you always expect town ten to get three star, right? So uh, it's not that easy. Um. So he did now success, but two start, pretty good. He actually did another attack. Yeah, he did another attack. He's pretty, one of the, our like top Town Nine member. That always three star Town Nines, and sometimes three star Town Hall Tens. He almost three star this guys. Um, the reason is he did not have enough time to clean up. So this base is a uh, is a pretty weak town hall tens, and the key is the all the expos are targeted to the ground. So he decided to use the balloons. So if you see all the and I don't see air sweeper on this clan. What's wrong with this clan? So I know that to showing you guys some replay on this clan war, it's kind of now relevant to your clan war, but that's what I have. Hey, I. That's what I can show you. So if I see any better clan war, I definitely going to show you more. But so far, that's what I see. I know it's been a week long. I haven't shown you guys some uh, videos because I was kind of busy. Um, but anyway, uh, from now I will have more time. When I have more time, I will show you more videos replays. Anyway, here we go. So he had uh, two golems. He going to end, and uh, again he going on the side that the Archer Queen's at. And because the Inferno Tower is not being protected by any storage, so that he can actually clean out some side buildings, and the Archer Queen can take care of the Inferno Tower pretty easily. Look at this. Archer Queen is going to take care of this Inferno Tower. See, if you don't care about your um, Inferno Tower, then you're going to be 3 star. That's as simple as that. You're going to take your Inferno Tower, how do you protect your Inferno Tower? Look at this, the bottom Inferno Tower is being protected pretty well, because the liquid storage is right next to it. But the Inferno Tower is uh, still a little bit too outside. If the Archer Queen is right in front of the Inferno Tower, they're going to take care of Inferno first. Because the expo is targeted to the ground, so that uh, which doesn't do any damage to the balloon, and balloon just take care of the expo as like a storage. So 
uh, he can three star this pretty easy. Um, but that's that's what he can do maximum. He can't do anything better than this. Yeah, this air trap is really hurts sometimes. So he actually wipe out all the defense, but the timing. So if you can do better than this, it just you need to release your lava hound and balloons, maybe ten seconds earlier. You just need that ten second, maybe, maybe he needs more. So for Town Hall 9, uh, to, just to, to, to wipe out Town Hall 10, it's uh, not that easy. Not only because you don't have enough um, power, uh, but also because Town Hall 10 has more uh, buildings to take care. So, uh, they have more, and they have Infernal Tower, Addition Infernal Tower, they have Addition uh, Cannon, they have uh, one more uh, Archer Tower. Other than that, they also have, um, what else do they have? I don't remember. Anyway, um, I think that's that's the addition thing they have it. So this addition thing will make you oh, and the two collector, like lizard collector and gold mine. So they actually have like five, <clears throat> five more buildings than Town Hall Nine. So if, of course it's gonna take at least ten to twenty second more to clean up. So it's not easy. And I have show you a couple of these videos. I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you guys have any other idea, want to um, see what kind of replay, I will pick those replay because I have so many replays. This clan is pretty good on 3 star town on 9. If you want to see more 3 star town on 9, I will show it to you guys. But uh, just uh, in recent 3 war, we only see more town on 10 and town on 9. That's why I only show you this town on 10's attack. Thank you.